guys. Fucking graduating. Today, I'm gonna teach all of you how to become college graduates. But wait, hold on. There's a couple of things we have to do first. Most importantly, get a degree, that's right. Now, I know all of you love chemistry, so I decided to focus a lot on that. Usually it takes four years to get a bachelor's degree. That is so long. One YouTube short is 60 seconds and that's way too long. I've decided a better way, a better solution to getting a degree quicker. And that's by using hands-on learning. I'm going to use a flash game to graduate college today. So what game are we gonna be playing exactly? What game can teach us enough chemistry to learn in a day to pass? It's powder. If you don't know what powder is, powder is a game that teaches you about compounds and chemistry, and it allows you to learn quicker than any other method out there. We can take our own elements and make our own compounds and then put that on paper. Today we're gonna to be taking three tests, each one getting harder than the last, to see if we can actually learn what we need to learn to get that bachelor's baby, that sweet, sweet degree that your parents always wanted you to get. We're gonna make them proud today. The goal, pass the tests with a 60% or higher, and then we get our degree. Can powder teach us enough? I think so. By the way, everything I say is a lie and not true. Please do not actually take this and put it on an actual chemistry test. But if you do, it'd be really funny. So maybe you could tweet at me if you do. Let's learn about the elements. I already know a lot about them. So water looks like that. <laughs> I love titanium. Titanium is solid. It's known to be solid and sturdy in the chemistry world, right? Let's go ahead and do some properties of water. So, water usually like sticks together. So if I just put a little bit here, that's it. That's it sticking, sticking together. That's it sticking together at the bottom. That's normal. That's that's usually what happens. Snow created when ice breaks under pressure. We're learning. Freeze powder. Okay, I think we're gonna pass with flying color. It dissolves almost everything. Wow, scientists have a lot of power at their disposal. Let's put a little guy. Brian, put... What is that? What is that? What is happening? Who's Brian? Oh no! <laughs> what is happening? Stop! Stop! Brian! Brian! In the chemistry world, do not use Brian. Shit, what about a wall? Can a wall stop it? A fan. A fan. What did Brian do? Okay, how do I how do I reset? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What have you done, Brian? Alright, we're back. So that's an accelerator. So accelerators are actually really important when it comes to chemistry. It has a lot to do with the ins and outs of push and pull. It, there's Newton's new Obviously, the first law is an object in motion will not change its motion unless a force acts on it. So, right here, this gun, that's not a gun, this gun will not move unless it's on fire. Newton's second law applies a lot to this situation. F equals MA, and this is F in this scenario. And this is Ma. F is drawn to Ma a lot of the time, and the only way to stop it is with the walls tab, which we have learned in the past. Look at that. Whoa! <laughs> okay. okay, okay. No! Three. Newton's third law? That's probably what this is. Uh oh. <laughs> Wait, no! <laughs> Newton, why? <laughs> no. This this happens often in the lab. This is a this is a common it's it's a misconception that this is bad because it's it's fine when you get to the bottom of it. Acid-base reactions practice test. Let's begin. Find the pH of a solution that is 5.06% HI by mass. Assume the density of 1.01 grams over milliliters for the solution. We actually just learned this. <laughs> we just learned this. Brian knew about this. What does HI mean? Uh, I remember Brian saying that usually 5% of high helium, uranium, if on only if you're using grams over milliliters, is about a quarter of zero. We need to find the pH for a solution that is 0.52% HBr by mass. Helium brass is what we're going off of here. Brass is denser. 
we determine the pH solution that is 0.4 mHCl. Helium chloroform, which is light, as we learned. What do we get? But, I mean, we, we, we forgot about a couple of things when it comes to the game, right? <laughs> we forgot about a couple of things. Let's circle back to the tests. Let's circle back. This game is less about equations and more about the molecules and the compounds. Where's the elements? The gases. Hydrogen. Do we have helium? We have boil. It expands when it's heated. That's what compounds is all about. So let's go ahead and get a solid here. Just some iron. And from here... This is where reactions come into play. We take hydrogen and we boil it. What happens? The boil takes over, which of course makes sense. Uh-oh, lightning. It's pretty cool. I didn't know we were Benjamin Franklin. So we've been learning a lot of interesting stuff and it's been very useful. What? I didn't know it, I didn't know it would explode that quickly. <laughs> take another test. Now that we've learned about molecules and compounds, can we actually put it into paper? Molecular geometry of O3, which O stands for oxygen. We learned that in the game. The glass is toxic. And of course, it's T-shaped. It made a T in the game. It made a T. What is the orbital ah. hybridization? Ah. For what? Uh, N-O negative Tiny two. Which of the following types of hybridization is found in the molecules shown below? Special power. Three. One, two, three. It's been T-shaped for a while, so let's see when this test is dated for. Look at that! We're going up every time! Still 30% failing, but 30% right. The game is working. The longer I play, the... I mean, right now it's just a hypothesis, but let's prove it. Let's now get a passing grade on the next test. It seems like a lot of bigger reactions are how we can get the most out of this game. It, it, it'll teach us the most. Oh, excuse me. But it seems like the bigger, the smarter. Let's get a house and some oxygen. We need to be able to breathe in the house. Then we'll take our little dude. Let's kind of walk him up there. Sure. Look at that. We're in the other room. I don't know why the house looks like it's melting, but that's okay. We do need some piping for the house. Look at that. That's that's the countertop. This is the bathroom. One of the biggest issues in day-to-day -day life is nitroglycerin getting in. It's been a problem recently with a lot of people, including my tenants. I own a couple pieces of property, and they keep on telling me that there's nitroglycerin coming in. My usual response is to light it. Just like so. And it, it usually works out for the tenant. Um, <laughs> understand that it has issues here and there. Suppose that the chemical reaction had an enthalpy change to plus 175 kilojoules over molecular. My little tenant is having some problems. And an entropy change of plus 500 j joules over molecular times kilograms. Woo! <laughs> At what temperature would this chemical reaction be in equilibrium? Coagulations. No word describes chemistry better than coagulating. We actually just learned this with the coagulation. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that hard, guys. It's just not that hard. <laughs> Fuck. We've coagulated. Kalos. Kutus. Katu plus aqua. Uh oh. Plus two o minus aqua. Any of these. Any anything would work in that scenario. Just. That, first of all, is not a lot of copper, or maybe a lot of copper. How big is 80 grams? <laughs> it would take a decent amount of heat. There's no stopping the coagulation. Two R, three plus, plus six mer. Oh god, a spit. Which of the following is a true statement with regards to the relative effusion rates of oxygen and carbon dioxide? That's a word that I for sure know what it means. <laughs> It just can't be determined. Most things can't. Now I... <laughs> Which of the following does not represent one of the features of water that is given as uniqueness? All of them. All of them do. Everything represents water. <laughs> <laughs> 
plus two ag plus zero sign. <laughs> Consider the typical phase diagram of the compound. I've considered it. Hypobrobius. That tiny number. That's that's what we say in the biz. <laughs> They're just making up numbers. That one. All right, all right, fingers crossed. Are we going to be a senior in college today? <sighs> Why didn't the compounds work? It should have worked! <laughs> My parents are never gonna be proud of me. Yeah. They hate us! They hate you! Warp, warp, Am I warp, a fraud? Warp, warp, warp. That's right. I, I used powder. We should have learned more about hydrogen. We should have learned more about helium. What else can I do? This is what chemistry is about. Why didn't Brian teach us more? Why did he tell me? <laughs> Screw the dumbasses who made those tests. They don't know anything about science. What does the little two mean? God! I will never graduate. Still better than half the people that took this test. I got, I got one right. I'm like under if if I just randomly guessed. Because it's 12 questions and 5 answers. So that'd be 2 to 3 right on average. If, if I just guessed. 